Dark skin. Light skin. Dark skin. 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 It probably started when I was about eight. Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. The models, they were just always so white compared to me. I would probably say middle school, elementary school, because you know, everyone wants to be cute, everyone wants to be light. When people call you like monkey and stuff, burnt. People don't want to date you because you're dark and all you hear is, oh, I don't date dark skinned girls. That I'm a little bit lighter than my sister, but they probably wouldn't date me because I'm not close enough to a light skin. For me, you're all brown. That's what I think. There's no team light skin, there's no team dark skin. Team light skin to this generation is everything good, everything positive, everything nice, everything cute, everything that a girl would want to be. And team dark skin are cockroaches. Team dark skins are girls that start fights. Team dark skins are the baby mamas with the attitude. Team dark skins are these negative things. Every adjective that's negative, dark, cruel, angry, all those belong to team dark skin. I would purposely buy lighter foundation to put on my hands and my arms and my face and my neck, anywhere that would be showing at school. My cousins always used to be like, oh, you're darker than us, and they'd always be like, okay, show me your arm and, you know, kind of compare who's darker. And I was always the darkest. My insecurity started with my skin tone when I started looking at my sister. And she was this light-skinned girl, and she would buy weave, and she would buy wigs, and she would wear makeup. And I'd see that she'd get this attention. All I knew is that the difference between me and her was that she was light-skinned, and I was dark-skinned. And I was ugly, and she was pretty. Before my skin tone became a problem, it felt normal, so nobody had anything to say about what I looked like, my color. We were all just kids, you know, playing on the playground. And once we started growing up, things were getting put into our ear. We were getting on the internet more, watching TV more, and then that's when we started to see the difference. That's when the difference started to come out when it was introduced to us. I believe this insecurity started my freshman year. That's when I first started seeing it on social media more, and a lot of people started talking about like skin complexion. Just the pictures and statuses and boys saying that light skins are beautiful or, oh, I want me a light skin. You see it on people's bios, team light skin or team dark skin, or I only like team light skin. It could really mess with you. If you're not a light skin and you don't rock Jordans and have the curly hair and pretty eyes, then they don't want to date you. People think dark skins are crazy and if you're a light skin, you're good <laughs> enough. I used to work with a couple guys and we would always have conversations. I would go, okay, but well, what kind of girls do you like? Oh, I like girls lighter than your light skin girls. I go, what do you consider lighter than me? Because, you know, black comes in all types of skin tones and different variations. And I like sometimes when you hear things like that, that would always make you feel some sort of way. If a guy goes, oh, you're cute, but I would only date girls as dark as you or lighter. I've experienced people saying, oh, I only like you because you're light skin. It's like, oh, 
that's really messed up for multiple reasons, so don't even get me started on that. But yeah, I, it's happened way too many times. And they're like, yeah, I only like light-skinned girls, so that's why I'm with you. So that makes me feel like, oh, I'm dating a complete asshole. At first, my insecurity did affect the way I interacted with guys, because I was just like, oh, I'm not going to talk to him, because he probably doesn't like dark-skinned girls. So if there was a light-skinned girl in the room, I would automatically shut down. And sometimes, still today, that's how I feel sometimes, because I'm like, nah. Like, there's no use. Like, there's no... Why should I even? It's always, why should I even? Why should I even try to gain attention from you when I know that when this light-skinned girl walks in, game's, like, it's over. One, two, one, two, three, four. Team light skin, they know that they're cute. So they get away with ignoring people. My friend is acting light skin, or my boyfriend's acting light skin, or I'm gonna act light skin and not text this person back right now. They don't text back. The whole not texting back thing, you hear that a lot. You're like, you're acting like a light skin girl not texting me back, or light skin girls have a lot of messages in their inbox. Dark skin girls don't get that because it's like no one wants to talk to them, is pretty much what they're saying. I do think the media has a big role in that. We have Zendaya, Raven Simone, Tyra Banks, Beyonce, even Nicki Minaj is pretty light. I really can't. I can't think of any darker African American woman that's a role model. For darker representation, we have Lupita, and um, we do. You see, that's the problem. I shouldn't be struggling to tell you who is um, who's representing the darker complexion African Americans. That's a problem. Please join me in welcoming Michelle Obama. She's classy. She's darker. She's with a man of status. Oh, dang it! Michelle Obama. Dang it, dang it, Michelle Obama. <laughs> Black people, we come from kings and queens. We are from the motherland of Africa. We should be together in that. We're all black, just different shades of beauty. It's ironic because the togetherness that we had generations past is what brought us to this standpoint where we are right now. And we're doing nothing but breaking each other down. Why would you want to do that when we've come so far? I say you embrace what you have because you're born with what you have. That's what makes you beautiful. I'm a person. I'm short. I'm funny. I'm outgoing. I'm me. We only get one skin, and we truly have to love it ourselves. I am artistic. I am a free thinker. I'm an optimist. I'm smart, I'm funny, I'm confident, I'm black, I'm a beautiful black girl. You shouldn't compare yourself. Like, I feel like that's really something that will kill your joy. I'm shy, I'm creative, I sing, and I love art. Having this generation more educated on what really matters for you, that young black child, to be what you want to be is your mind, is your brain, it's what, it's your merit, it's what you can do, it's who you are. Your skin tone has nothing to do with that. We're sisters. <laughs> 
I am a person of color, I'm a feminist, I'm a woman, and I'm a listener, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs>